Hello, welcome to the second video in my series on digital minimalism. Do you notice anything different about me? What you're seeing are the effects of me not suffering from chronic anxiety, all thanks to a decision that I made a couple months ago to delete Facebook from my phone. Let's get started. If you've experienced anxiety yourself, you'll know that it, it just sucks, dude. I don't know how else to explain it. It's awful. It's demobilizing. Overall, not a vibe. And in order for me to live my well, balanced and mentally stable life, I knew that Facebook had to go. To word this differently, she was voted off the island. Third person voted out. Facebook. <gasps> I will have you know, I did not deactivate my account. There was no reason to. I just deleted the app from my phone and kept Messenger, so I was removing myself from all the garbage in my feed and still being able to maintain communication with other human beings. Now, you may be thinking, why would you delete Facebook in the first place? Well, let me tell you. Other than the fact that it gave me anxiety every time I used it. It, to me, just seems like an overstimulating toxic cesspool of Karens, politics, and pointless drama. Not to mention the algorithm who has mastered all of your trigger points. Trigger points that you may not have even known that you had in the first place. And let me tell you, it definitely found mine. I'd be scrolling through all the anger and sadness when BAM! Without warning, I'm presented with a photo of a dead sea animal filled to the brim with microplastics. Urge to waste my time arguing with people activated. So I comment. I can't help but to remind everyone that this could be less of a problem if the government shifted its focus from recycling to outright banning non-biodegradable single-use plastics from being used. The war is on. Someone comments, you're such a Democrat, go back to being a hippie somewhere else. So I reply, oh, my apologies, I can't help my desire to keep this ball of life we call the planet from dying. Then, you'll be dead by the time it does anyway. Me. <laughs> then, from that point forward, the energy of my entire day is ruined. And obviously, my example when I'm talking about dead sea animals filled with microplastics may sound like it was just an example, but it was a thing that actually happened. And because I interacted so much, like rage commenting on those types of posts, the algorithm kept feeding me more of that type of content. Because if you've seen The Social Dilemma, a documentary that recently came out on Netflix, you would now understand that the algorithm's not going to know what's true, what's not true, what you're engaging with because you like it, or what you're engaging with because you don't like it. It just knows that, hey, this person is engaging with this type of content a lot. Let's give him more of that because it'll keep him on the app longer. Therefore, Facebook will make more ad revenue money because I'm on there longer. Any type of disagreement that you have with someone else usually involves more engagement because you're trying to input your perspective. So then the algorithm is going to give you more of that type of content, which is basically just a very toxic cycle of things that trigger you. Because when you're seeing stuff that you agree with or that makes you happy, you might just give it a like, maybe give it a little heart if you really like it. But other than that, you're not really engaging too much with stuff that you agree with because you look at it, you're like, oh yeah, I agree, me too. You know, self-assured. And then you keep scrolling so other than that, when was the last time that you actually learned something worthwhile on Facebook? Hmm, can't recall? Me either. Since we're both using YouTube right now, I think it goes without question to make the statement, which is there is so much, so much more knowledge to be gained from watching stuff on YouTube than there is scrolling through Facebook. You can literally learn anything you want on YouTube. And the greatest part is you can search for exactly what you want answers to. Honestly, YouTube is like Google's version of a picture book. Google could literally be like, do you hate boring articles and wish someone would just read to you? Well, 
with the power of YouTube, you can both please your eyes with a visual experience and learn something new. With YouTube, the world is your oyster. Oyster. That's how you say that. <laughs> now, one argument that someone out there is probably going to have is I'm not an actual minimalist if I'm just exchanging the time I use on Facebook with watching videos on YouTube. However, I disagree. Allow me to demonstrate by reading you a piece of an article because it was honestly written better than what I was going to write. This article says, minimalism is a lifestyle that helps people question what things add value to their lives. By clearing the clutter from life's path, we can all make room for more important aspects, be that health, relationships, passion, growth, and contribution. So the decision that I made about two months ago to remove Facebook from my phone was simply because I knew it wasn't adding any value to my life. And to be quite honest with you, it was making me feel really mentally unstable. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm going to say it. I am, say it with me, mentally stable. <laughs> So does this mean I'm never gonna use Facebook again in the future? Well, it's likely. Right now, I only use Messenger and Facebook page, which is an app designed for my like influencer page so I can post my YouTube videos on Facebook. But other than that, I have absolutely no desire to use any other aspect of Facebook. I mean, if I truly have this weird desire to get emotionally unstable and triggered about something, I can always log into Facebook from the desktop. But now that I've spent two months detoxing from it, it seems really pointless to venture out of my unbothered and balanced mental space and dive back into a toxic cesspool. But with all this being said, do you think I'm overreacting to the situation with Facebook or do you agree with me? And also, do you even use Facebook anymore? I would really like to hear what you think about the whole situation, so let me know down below and I will see you down there. Goodbye.